I'm doing a review of two crappy solar charge controllers you can get on eBay. One's this blue one with the two USB ports on it. Um, I'm using this one to charge an ordinary car boat battery, uh, $60 battery with a shore flow pump on it. This all goes to power a veggie patch. Um, it's the only way I think, can think of doing it. What's wrong with this? particular charge controller is um, it's supposed to be controllable in all of its parameters and you can move it through it's currently showing a voltage of 14.4 that's supposedly its um, float value of 13.6 um, and that's the load cut in and cut out and it's got a battery setting as well which is supposed to set between um, flooded gel and absorbed gas but none of them seem to do anything the the controller never leaves 14.4 volts so it's got some faulty criterion for going into float this little ammeter here shows it's it's currently charging at um, probably 0.15 amps and it's still not going into float so it either has a criterion of going to float if it's charged for about 10 hours or something or or some impossibly low number like 0.01 amps or something so the result is it never goes into float I tested one of these USB ports and it seemed not to destroy my tablet one thing astute observers may notice is I've actually had to put an ammeter in here and the reason is that one doesn't have one, even though the documentation points to a little A sign um, next to the voltage, so it's disappointing, you can't tell the current. Um, otherwise it's a charge controller that will keep your battery at 14.35 volts all the time. So, it's my Raspberry rating. Just as an aside, this is the way you conceal a charge controller from the weather and ant invasion. If you don't seal it from ants they'll tend to set up house inside it and put all the eggs in there and build a damp spot. So I've got a Systema container, just an ordinary lunchbox container. I picked the worst one in the kitchen and drilled four holes in the bottom of it. They're one eighth holes and they've got housing wire going through, tough housing wire. It's not the most easy thing to configure but there's no way that the anties can get in the little holies. I have a solar panel I got from Low Energy Developments, it's an Australian seller, Rod Irving, um, to charge an old ute. And here's the other controller you probably recognise. It has three lights on the front and a charge and load thing on it, so you know vaguely if it's working or not. This also never uh, goes into float, it tends to charge at 14.5 volts. It um, has a lot of ways for insects and flies to get into. It's just designed for flies to get into. And this uh, cavity in the U is full of flies. So um, it's going to die soon. One of its other blessings is that it draws a fair amount of current powering all these LEDs overnight so your battery's down. Um, a significant amount. The, the blue charger is a little bit better in this respect. So I hope you enjoyed my shitty controller review. Say something to all the people in YouTube land. There's at least six people out there. Hello, hello.